So let's talk a little bit about the uniqueness of this trial here. Okay, so behind me is a trial of fall rye that has open pollinated as well as uh, hybrid rye in it. Um, just recently, uh, KWS along with FP Genetics uh, registered the first hybrid fall rye for Canada. Um, so it's quite exciting. The fall rye, uh, or the hybrid fall rye, generally yield about 25% more than standard fall rye uh, that were produced in Canada previously, so it's quite exciting. Um, some of the benefits of the hybrids over the open pollinated lines are they definitely have higher falling numbers, um, they're much more productive from a yield perspective, um, as well as their uh, plant height and the agronomy from that perspective is, is much better, they're shorter and they're more even maturing. So let's talk a little bit about um, management of these. Um, how do you approach management of these um, fall rye hybrids? So, um, you know, and that, that there's still some work that needs to be done on that is what we were just speaking about uh, previously in the group. We, we discussed things like uh, in Germany, a lot of the fall rye are planted on conventionally tilled land, whereas out west in Western Canada, some of that's done on no, or most of it's done on no-till land. So that's an important difference. But in terms of, of management uh, for the hybrids, generally the seeding rate's a little bit lower versus the open pollinated lines. Um, in terms of uh, because they are um, have higher falling numbers, so that's a little bit more protected, and the height is shorter, it lends itself to being uh, easier to direct combine. So that's uh, a potential advantage um, yeah so okay. so what about inputs and things like that we, yeah we mentioned that they stack up actually stacks up there's quite an advantage when it comes to a crop like wheat or something else and when you talk about nitrogen and fun, yeah. fungicide and yeah well it's interesting if you look at some of the recommend recommendations for raw fall rye uh, that exist in Canada I don't believe they're actually accurate so what we've been discussing here today is that actually, and it's commonly known, but it isn't reflected in the Canadian uh, fertilizer recommendations, is that actually you have to put on uh, less nitrogen actually on the fall rye than you do on winter wheat. So that is part of the reason that uh, there is an advantage to fall rye, so there's less inputs from that perspective. Uh, from a disease perspective, they're generally more resistant, uh, which is quite important uh, than say winter wheat. Uh, so there's less inputs from that perspective. Uh, one other thing about fall rye from a producer perspective and its advantages over winter wheat is that it's considerably more cold tolerant. Um, so it protects you uh, if there's a particularly bad winter, say like last year. Um, you know, fall rye tended to make it through the winter a little better than, than winter wheat in some of those cases. So what about disease issues? Yeah, so generally uh, we see very little disease uh, in fall rye. Um, in Germany they do see some diseases but generally in Western Canada um, from what I've seen there, there's very little issues in terms of disease so um, while far rye can get leaf and stem rust I haven't seen it nor have we really seen ratings on that um, you know the main issue from disease perspective from fall rye is ergot uh, that's something that's pretty much unavoidable um, so that then leads to some management situations for producers where they make sure uh, you know that they're seeding at the proper rate but also that they manage some of the headlands around through rain and, and things like that. What about um, fusarium susceptibility too? So uh, generally fusarium susceptibility is much lower. Uh, natural resistance in rye as well as in some cases the height is a little higher which then obviously is a contributing factor to the resistance. Um, but generally the incidents are lower, so less risk from that perspective in comparison to wheat. So how good of a fit is, is fall rye around here? Uh, well, in, in Western Canada, I think it has a good fit. Uh, you know, um, I will say, you know, from a marketing perspective, that is one of the risks, you know, uh, limited markets for fall rye. But I think um, what KWS and some of the other people here that are working with the hybrids, they're working to develop some of that. And I think that's where the potential lies. If that improves uh, the marketing situation, I think you'll see fall rye acres grow significantly. So agronomically, would you say you're, you're basically just scratching the surface of... Absolutely. Oh yeah. No, I, I, I think that the best is yet to come for fall rye uh, from a hybrid perspective, but just fall rye in general. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot.